A section of officials in President Museveni's government have been heard saying that a national unity platform is a party for Baganda. In other words, it's tribalistic. Others say it's a Kampala party, not a national party. You remember during the campaigns last year, uh, Honorable Anita came out and said that, hey, Bobby Wine is only known in Kampala and his party is only known in Kampala. So there is no way he can tell Ugandans that, hey, I have come to help you. No way. <laughs> I remember those statements from uh, Honorable Anita last year during the campaigns. However, yesterday, uh, Chagulanyi was in Kabale and he told the people of Kabale the truth. I'm going to be telling you what he told the people of Kabale. So what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG and don't forget to hit the bell for all the notification. Good morning. Thank you so much for keeping it right here on uh, the Buzz UG. Our friends in uh, the diaspora abroad, uh, thank you so much for keeping it right here. You're in Oman, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, wherever you are. Thank you so much for keeping it right here on the Buzz UG. Now, as Bobby Wine is on the move of uh, spreading the word of change to the people of Uganda, around the different regions of Uganda, his movements sometimes are frustrated by the regime by using the men and women in uniform. Now, yesterday, it was a different story after Bobby Wine managed to enter Kabale regions amidst high tension together with deployment in the area. Bobby Wine had gone to attend the mass in Ruchiga as the Catholic Church was celebrating the Mary's Day. Now, Bobby Wine narrated how they found different roadblocks on their way, but he was surprised surprised when they met a certain roadblock and the officer stopped them and greeted him and then after granted them a green light to proceed to where they were going. Now Bobby Wine stated that before reaching to Kabale, a few meters they found the last roadblock where a big number of policemen had patrolled only to be surprised when it started raining and he was given a go ahead with his team. While at the same function, Mr. Chagulanyi emphasized the point of how non-tribalistic his Party, the national unity platform is as a way of selling it to the people of Ruchiga. He also introduced all his friends and leaders of the national unity platform party who comes from uh, different tribes and religions, has trashing the regime propaganda against his name. Bobby Wine assured the crowd that he will soon address them as the president of Uganda after removing President Museveni from power. And you realize lately Bobby Wine is saying that statement so much. I remember, uh, I think a few weeks back he was in Mbale and uh, he had gone to speak to the people of that side on BCU FM and he said the same statement. Yeah, though he was not allowed to speak on radio, but he met the leaders of the National Unity Platform in the area and he told them the same statement that get ready, President Museveni is going to be out of power very soon. But of course, everyone right now is asking themselves, how is he intending to remove President Museveni from power? You remember two weeks back, the spokesperson of Uganda police, that is Fred Enanga, came out and said that they already know as security that uh, Bobby Wine is planning to remove President Museveni illegally. Yes. Uh, Fred Enanga said that statement, but of course, uh, we do not know their intelligence. But according to Fred Enanga, he said that uh, Bobby Wine and some other leaders in the opposition, they are planning to unseat President Museveni through an insurrection. Maybe he's cooking something. You never know. <laughs> Legally or illegally, we cannot confirm any of those. Anyway, that is it uh, from uh, Fred Enanga a few weeks back. Going back to the story, Bobby Wine also promised to give the church choir of the area a new uniform after they impressed him by their voices. It's on record that Bobby Wine got a few votes from this Kabale region and this could be a way of campaigning to the people of this area. But of course we want to thank God that at least he was allowed to access the place where he had gone to address the people. At least he delivered his message as planned. Though he found roadblocks along the way but definitely we thank God that he was allowed to give out his speech as he had planned it, you know. Yes, so that is the latest from Bobby Wine's camp. And we shall keep you posted in case of any other developments. What you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And tap on that bell for all the notifications. My name is Fuller. Thank you.